What's up, guys? Quantrick202 here with another edition of What's New. Uh, last night was the first ever WWE exclusive um, special on the WWE Network, and it was NXT, The Arrival. No, I bet you, everybody was thinking that was going to be WrestleMania 30, but WWE slipped it in, and what a show NXT Arrival was. I mean, NXT is already great by itself. Probably one of the best uh, products that WWE is showing right now, even up there with Probably you say a lot of people say it's better than Monday Night Raw, but um, a lot of great stuff uh, last night. The presentation was just amazing. If this is how NXT is going to be from now on, if this is what they need to do with Monday Night Raw, because they set this whole night up uh, perfectly. I mean, I didn't get to see the pre-show, but I heard that the pre-show was pretty good as well uh, with uh, Kevin Nash, um, Bret Hart, and uh, who was it with Ric Flair? I think or somebody who was it? I don't remember who that third guy was. Um, but yeah, uh, I heard that was pretty good as well. But uh, the show kicked off um, with a with a huge match. It was it was uh, Sami Zayn and Antonio Cesaro or Cesaro, I bet Cesaro for a lot of people say uh, this match was uh, was going to be great and it did not disappoint. It was up there with number three. I'm not going to say it's better than number three, but I'm not going to say it's worse either. They are both on the same. Exact love those matches. Both both those matches are really 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 good, um, and the one from last night was really really good as well. Um, so many awesome spots in there. Those dudes are just amazing. Um, Sami Zayn, El Generico, an amazing talent. Can't wait to see what they do with him when they bring him up. And then you got Cesaro, who everybody knows is just awesome. Uh, two guys who know how to work with each other very 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 well. They worked for each other for years in the indie circuit, and now they're here. Bring, uh, tearing out a house in the house of WWE and NXT. And, uh, man, some awesome stuff. It was one spot where uh, uh, that they did in the third matchup where Sami Zayn would fly through the, uh, would fly, like, fly in between the um, turnbuckle and the post and then catch him in, like, a tornado DDT, which is an awesome spot. But this time, Cesaro started coming, and first thing he went, and went to do that, boom, an uppercut. Was amazing. The the storytelling was great in there. Like that, uh, Sami Zayn did not want to give up, even though Cesaro basically had him beat. It's like Cesaro hit him with twenty million European uppercuts, but he would not go down until that last one, where he just like spitting around him. Boom! They hit the neutralizer. One, two, three. That was over. A classic match. Five stars. Um, after the match, Cesaro would uh, shake Sami Zayn's hand and hug him. And, uh, you know, showed that he has respect for him, which is another sign that Cesaro will be turning full face uh, sooner rather than later. And, uh, man, if you're going to watch any match on that, I mean, I say, say watch the whole pay-per-view, but if you're going to watch any match, watch that one. Great show. Great, great match. Um, after that, we had C.J. Parker versus uh, the man who stays hype. He stays hype. Um, well, I can't think of it. Mojo Rally. I was say, I don't know, I was gonna say Mojo Jojo. What the heck? <laughs> Mojo Jojo, Jojo. But Mojo Rally. Um, uh, man, I'm not say I'm the biggest fan. But the dude's kind of cool. It's a cool thing. He doesn't. He doesn't get hyped. He stays hyped. He's hyped up the entire time in the match. Pretty big dude. Uh, very athletic. Versus uh, T.J. Parker, the Moon Child, who's all about peace and love, baby. Peace, not war. Um, pretty good matchup. Uh, just a little filler match in between there. Rally got the victory. Uh, that was about it. But pretty good pretty good stuff. They had a promo for uh Mojo Rally showing you what he's all about. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um and then later on in the night they showed you um they had what was cool about this thing, they show you uh video packages of these talents, show you what these guys are all about. And they had one also one for Paige and one for uh one for Paige and one for Emma who hit, were to have a women's championship match uh, later that night. And both of them things were amazing. They show their personality, show exactly what they're about. In case you don't watch NXT, they want you to know about them. They did a good job uh, doing that at, on the show. Um, probably after that, there was um, the tag team match between the Ascension and Too Cool came back to the bottom. Pretty cool matchup. Cool seeing Too Cool, uh, you know, do their thing. They're still just as good as they've ever been. Um, and then the Ascension... Uh, that's destroyed them, man. I mean, they didn't destroy them, but they, 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 those guys are awesome. I can't wait to see them dominate in the tech division in the WWE, hopefully very, very soon. Um, next, I think it was the time for the women's match. 
for the uh, women's uh, NXT uh, championship. And it was a great matchup. I mean, these two girls can go. I mean, this is like makes the the matches on uh, WWE on Raw SmackDown for women look like we made this one like a five star classic because it was just it was awesome, man. I mean, if if, if WWE would let these uh, girls get a chance, like they gave these two girls uh, last night a chance, the women's vision could be very very good. Um, and I'm telling you that Emma and Paige are probably the best on the roster. I mean, I'm not just talking about NXT, I'm talking about the WWE period when it comes to women's wrestling. Put them in there with AJ, Alicia Fox, uh, and some so, so on and so forth, some other great, uh, Tamina maybe. You can have a good division. Um, but anyway, let's get back to the match. The match was great. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I mean, uh, it was one point where Emma hit a, like a power bomb, set out power bomb, and they, they, they crowd chain it better than Batista. That was hilarious. Uh, Paige hit her finish with Paige Turner. And Emma kicked out of it, which has never happened. And she got him, got her in this like awesome like submission, like it was like an educator. Like she was going for an educator. Then she would get a double like underhook chicken wing and a wrench back on her. And that was that was I've never seen any kind of submission like that. But it was freaking awesome. And then Emma ta ended up tapping out. They showed each other's respect, shake hands, and uh, there you go. Great matchup. Uh, I will recommend going to watch that one as well. Uh, then there was I think it's one more. It was one more match. It was um, uh, the the pretty boy himself. Um, why? Well, what? I can't even think of his name right now. You know, it was like Xavier Woods and um, Tyler Breeze, the pretty boy himself, Tyler Breeze, who's all about his uh, you know his phone stuff and his looks. Uh, two pretty cool gimmicks. Uh, they were about to start fighting, but then Alexander Rusev came out there, the Bargarian brute, and be, be, uh, basically destroyed both of them. And uh, you know, he made his present known that night. Uh, also, throughout the night, they showed um, stuff for Bo Dallas, and um, they showed a, a video package for Bo Dallas, which was really really cool. And they sh uh, showed one for Adrian Neville as well, showing how he uh, he loves being in the sky and all that stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um, then they got to the main event, which was the uh, first ever ladder match. Pretty good. Nothing groundbreaking in this matchup, but it was uh, you know. Really good uh, ladder match though. But in the end, um, we saw Adrian Neville hit the uh, what's called the red arrow onto Bo Dallas on a ladder, and then he went up there and grabbed the, uh, the title and became the new NXT champion. And they made this feel like the this thing felt like the biggest thing ever. They had like little like I'm um, not pyro, but uh, I'm not sure what they call it. So steam or something, whatever you call it, like the edge like steam. Coming out, it was pretty cool, pretty cool uh, thing. Then they showed John Cena, John Cena in the crowd with a suit on, clapping. That was cool. Uh, we uh, we also got to see, I forgot to say, we got to see Shawn Michaels th uh, that night, Triple H, Stephen McMahon, uh, legends like Dusty Rhodes, and um, uh, some other people in the crowd. It was pretty cool, uh, you know, just seeing those guys watch the future. Amazing thing, amazing product. I want to see some more NXT uh, specials just like that one because that night, uh, that thing right there set the pace of what's to come in NXT, and the future is bright in WWE. Anyway, guys, I think I've made this uh, this uh, video run a little too long, but I'm going to cut it right there. Uh, watch NXT. It was good. Um, Arrival should be on demand right now, in case you haven't seen it. Uh, very good show. Uh, five stars. Anyway, guys, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Stay glow, everybody. Peace.